Well, hello, glorious people of the interwebs, and welcome back, Planet Zoo. The best game of all time! I hope you're all having a wonderful day. And, uh, right now we're actually working on building some stuff for... Uh, for the- for the new zoo. I- I released an episode earlier today, where, um... I went back and decided to do things the best way that I've been able to discover so far. And we've done quite a bit. So let's do a little bit of a tour before I finish building this, uh, this particular building. Uh, but I hope everyone's doing well. What's going on? Matt Spar, Theta New, Dustin, Cuttable Spark, Bullvine, Charlene, Ellie, Harmony, Mr. Bad Gamer, a name after my own heart, Elite Rainbow Fire, welcome back. Nicole C, Lady Boyd. Okay. So we're, uh, we're back here. So this is, uh, the zoo. So those of you that tuned in for yesterday's live stream, we, we had a zoo that kind of went out here and it stole a whole bunch of money from us when we logged back in and, and then loans and all sorts of stuff kind of just devastated us. Uh, so we came in today, everything working, it's really good. I think they had an update. They fixed some of the stuff that was wrong. Although I did have an issue with pathing stuff, but anyways... Let's just go ahead and uh, show you what we got going on here. We've got our new mandrel pens. We've got Hondo here, the mandrel of doom. We've got another one here. We've got Amina. And then we've got another female right there. If I could click on her, that would be pretty cool, but I can't. Let me see your face. I gotta poke your butt. She's hiding in a bush. She's being super duper shy right now. Otter Kramer, thank you so much for the super chat. We've also got another one here, and I'm hoping that they will have babies soon. I mean, their welfare is really, really good. we got to boost some habitat, social, and nutrition. Um, but otherwise, things are looking really good for our mandrel habitat. We've got some climbing structures here, and we'll probably customize some of this as we go. I kind of want to change it up. We've got our herbivore pen here, which always needs to be cleaned. It's a major issue. Uh, for some reason... Even though I have all the jobs set up properly, it still struggles to to actually clean it at all times. So I'm working on that. We've got to finish decorating this. Put in two new drink stalls and a food stall. And this is the creme de la creme. Actually, this is what we're going to be changing up in today's uh, stream. So right now, this is a bear enclosure. So bears, awesome. Bears are fantastic. But we're gonna actually going to convert this to a hippo enclosure today. Because I feel like the, all the work that I put into making this water viewing area, that it would benefit hippos just a little bit more than it would bears. Um, so we're going to get some hippos up in here. I already purchased the hippos. And we're going to make a new bear pen right here. Now in this pen, we're actually going to make like um, a viewing area into their actual little cave that I'm going to make. And then we'll make another viewing area that goes around into their pen. So I think it's going to be a lot better. And then at some point, I'm going to bring this around here. That way they can view on the backside of the Hip Hop hip hop Anonymouses as well. Uh, but Otter Kramer, Asmodian, and Andy, thank you both for the super chats. Do you enjoy the, the building or the simulation more? Both. I enjoy both thoroughly. And Asmo, thank you for the super chat. All of the animals. Yes, indeed. And Andy, yet another game I'm going to have to get. <laughs> it's amazing. I've been having so much fun with this. Um, despite, you know, it being in beta and still having some rough edges that need to be worked out, I have been playing this pretty much non-stop, and I've, I've been enjoying every minute of it. Even the annoyances, because you learn more from your mistakes than you do from doing everything perfect. Please stream for as long as possible. I got time. We'll see how long we can go today. Uh, we'll see how things pan out. I just want to finish editing this particular building. And then we'll get into some of the other things here. I unlocked a whole bunch of new stuff in the Indian tier. We've got all sorts of new decorations that we can mess around with. And I want to make everything super duper fancy. I'm going to move this up to here. And then I'm going to grab one of these bad boys. Actually, I think I can just grab it here. And then now, obviously, knowing all of the little shortcuts and stuff is helping out quite a bit, too. I just want to have it going all the way around. I think that would look better. 
Uh, so we're gonna make a hippo pen and we're gonna make... Is there like a corner piece for this by chance? There's gotta be a corner piece for it. There's got to be. I don't know if this really fits with the building. We've got all sorts of decorations though. I'm gonna work on trying to make this a little bit fancier today. We're doing all sorts of stuff today. It's gonna be fan diddly tastic. I hope. Alright, well I don't know where there's a corner piece. We're just gonna have to deal with the way it looks. Oh no. Oh. Oh, mistakes have been made. Alright. It's alright. Boop. There we go. Um, so if you're wondering why the why the zoo is a little less happy. Uh, also, Allison, thank you so much for the super chat. I'm glad you're doing well. Ginger B, what's going on? Dutters, Matt Spar, Ian Asmo, Abel, Funky Firefly, Theta, how you doing? Okay. Um actually I wanna see how that looks. I guess I'm gonna mess around with a couple of different things here. Excuse me, what are you doing? I just want you to, like, cooperate. I wish it would just, like, snap to the building. I might have that turned off. wonder if I do. Those in there like that? I think that looks good. And we'll put another one here. Just fleshing it out a little bit, you know? Close that. And then we gotta figure out something for this tower bit here. We gotta make it look a little bit... Oh. Oh. Oh, hello. I like that piece so much more. Definitely fills it out a little bit better. You beautiful little tower thing, you. In the middle there. Rataboot there. That looks good. And then... The only thing that needs to be changed here... This. That needs to be removed. And then we need to figure out some kind of roof structure. That might work. I like that I have so many different things and options now for the buildings that I did not have before. Um, I put this in here, but that way more. There we go. That looks better. I kind of like the way that looks. Ginger Bee, what? Hip Hop Hip Hop Anonymous, he got all the- oh yeah. Good old Big Daddy movie. OG awesomeness. Okay, so. We built that, let's go ahead and hit play. Open up those new shops. So the happiness here, there was a pathing glitch that continues to make this pen not get clean. Thank you, dear. Thank you. Okay, so one thing that we need to do is we need to pick up our bears. We've also got baby bears. Nobody saw the video earlier, so I have to go over all this. For some reason, the streams are doing well, but the videos are not. We got baby bears. Look at it. You guys can name our baby bear. Do you want to name the bear? Leave a name in the chat below. It's nice and fuzzy. It's got fuzzy little ears. And he's a very, very happy bear. I think it's a she. He's a very, very happy bear. You saw the baby bears? Oh, yeah. Can you name it... Name a hippity tater when it has a baby? Oh, my God. <laughs> Fuzzy clackers. Oh, my God. Bear jangles. Darth Yogi. <gasps> you win. You win. It's a female. We're going to name it Darth Yogi. Thank you, buddy. Okay, how do I name it? There we go. Embe. Darth Yogi it is. Perfect. Honey boo boo. <laughs> okay, so we got a lot of 
moving around here to do. Let's go ahead and actually, you know what? Before, let's play this smart because we don't want to lose money by having the bears not there. Let's work on making our new bear pen and then we can convert that. We can kind of just steal the stuff from the bear pen and reuse it. So what I want to happen is I want to have a path that goes through here and then have it kind of curve down into a viewing area of their little pen. We're going to make a handy dandy path. And then we'll kind of go from there. So we'll do... I really like this granite path. I don't want it to be too big. Maybe we'll do six. Oops. And then go out like this. And then we'll kind of curve it in. Like that. I think that'll be good. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to dig it down a little bit. I think. Yeah. Now, if you're wondering why we put it down, it's just so I could get the, the marking down on the ground. And then I can use that marking to get our terrain tool and uh, start kind of smoothing a path down into it. Now, with our terrain editor, we're doing this again, ladies and gentlemen. This disaster... I wish I could just... We're just going to go for it. Just one stroke. Diggity. Oh, God. <laughs> I messed up already. Stephanie Pontus, welcome to the community. Thank you so much for becoming a member. I do greatly appreciate the support. We're not going to go too far down. I know that's just going to cause issues. This whole terrain editing takes a lot of getting used to, so you're going to have to bear with me. Um, Planting the surface. Just need to get it flat enough and slope and slopey enough to be able to... Oh, Jesus. That's not working. I needed to go straight down. And that is most definitely not going straight down. Uh, but Stephanie, thank you so much for becoming a member. I do greatly appreciate the support. You're a scholar and a gentlewoman. Thank you so much. There we go. We'll have it there. And then we'll start smoothing this out a little bit here. And we'll smooth it up the other area. The nice gradual slope is all I want. Whoops. I'm smoothing right there. I hope everybody's having a wonderful week. We've almost made it through. We are almost done with the week. The weekend is almost here. All right, let's see if we can get a path down in this now. It's so far so good. Okay. Okay. All right. We just need to make that a little bit wider. The whole thing just needs to be a little bit wider. So take our time, ladies and gentlemen. Take our time. Don't get too gung-ho and we'll be all right. Sounds like you're rolling gravel or pouring water. Oh, uh, Womb. <laughs> Womb. Thank you for the support. Um, Vic, I would recommend going to like, uh, like, can I run it? There's a, a website called that. Reporting looking injured. Oh, they're fighting. That's kind of cool, although bad. So now we got to call the vet for both of these. Stupid buffaloes ruining everything. I'm 
Jamie, I hope you feel better. Oh, there's one thing that I want to test. You're supposed to be able to tunnel with this. But I have yet to be able to tunnel with, with the pathing. But we have tunneling turning on. Flattened terrain. Maybe that'll help this time. I do not have tunneling. If I click here with a path and go this way, will it let me tunnel? Oh, it will. That changes everything. It changes absolutely everything. So now we can tunnel with that. And we'll make it, instead of having it like a nice turn, we'll just kind of use the tunneling feature that it has. We'll do a path here. We'll go, oops. Oops. Hannah, thank you so much for the super chat. I greatly appreciate the support. Um, that's a bit of an issue. What's going on there? Let's turn off tunneling until we're ready to tunnel then, shall we? And I want to turn in like this. And this is where we can turn on tunneling. Constructed by what? Constructed by nothing. You're literally obstructed by nothing. Oh. Bull dookie! Obstructed. Hannah, thank you so much again for the super chat. Making sure to flatten it more. Maybe that's the issue. I was able to flatten it elsewhere. Turn off flattened terrain. We'll turn off tunneling. Try this again. Maybe it was the angle that it just didn't like. We'll do... Eh. And what we'll do is we'll turn off the ability for I want this to open again. There we go. We'll do angle snap. We'll give that a shot. There we go. Just messing around with different stuff here now. There's something underground here. Or is that like a shadow from the air? It looks weird. Now let's try to tunnel. Interesting. It must be the angle, I guess. So can we tunnel off of a straight bit? Really, game? You're gonna troll me like this? You're gonna let me tunnel in one spot, but not another? Really? Really? That's so annoying. Okay. Interesting. That is so weird. <clears throat> Very strange. It must be maybe it's relation to that. I don't know. That's why it's in the beta. I know. The v oh, what died? Oh, the buffalo. Where are you, buffalo? Come back. You're a big ass buffalo. I should be able to find you in like a second. Is you? Did it get picked up already? 
Excuse me, there's a dead buffalo. Oh, there it is. He's super dead. Died of old age. A lot of my animals are getting pretty old now. Which is kind of unfortunate. By kind of, I mean very unfortunate. You know what? Let's just do this. These bears are just going to keep fighting until I get them in a different habitat. And then we can figure it out from there. Not going to do a face cam vid. I don't do them. Unless it's something that I want to do that involves not playing a video game. You just need to place down the first path with tunneling. We tried that and it didn't work. Try it again. Just to be safe. Because that's why we switched it in the first place back to the... The other thing, but maybe. Yeah, well, it does work now. I don't want you to turn. I want you to go straight. And I let go, and it's going to shit all over my face. See? There we go. Nice and straight. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to align it to the grid. We're going to go... I want to make like a decent room down here. With like a building bit a little bit. Like that grid. Go like this. Like that. That should be a decent way. And then we can make glass view like all around here. Which would probably look good. And now what's nice about this, I'll leave it like that. That kind of looks I, that kind of looks nice actually. I like it. Now what I want to know is if I can use the terrain editor to then flatten it up to it and make it look a little bit better. And just a little bit. Oh. Oh. There we go. What I want to do is now I want to build this up and over it. And make it like it's gone inside of a tunnel. That's working out pretty good for us. Obviously we're going to need to make it look a little bit fancier. Cat Tims, thank you for the super chat. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. That's awesome. Thank you so much for the super chat, and I hope you have a wonderful birthday. Right, we're going to have to leave the rest of that for now. Uh, and then we're going to need some rocks. We're going to use taiga rocks for this. Put some of these bad boys in and around here. Get it up close to this. I like being able to rotate the same kind of block and get a different looking one, kind of, without having to swap too many times. Uh, what do you guys think so far? You think it's going to be a, a decent looking enclosure? Or a decent idea. Would you want to go inside the Cave of Doom? I'd want to go inside the Cave of Doom. Cave of Doom is lit. That little bad boy through. I'm just going to kind of like rotate different types of rocks and stuff. I just want to get my hip hop anonymouses in here. I just want to cover up all those little bleh bits from the tunnel.
Then we have to like build it up around it and stuff. That bad boy right here. And then the inside is going to be the interesting bit that we got to do. Getting that all figured out is going to be fun. Okay, there we go. So we got the entrance to our little viewing area. What's up, bud? Okay. Your zoo has something similar? Nice. Alright, so now we gotta figure out where the boundaries of this enclosure are gonna be. So, before I do... Actually, you know what? I'm gonna get this kinda figured out first. I wanna do flatten to foundation. Oops. They're gonna have a cave area right here. And then a way out of the cave that way. And a way out of the cave this way. We're gonna do smooth, smooth, smooth criminal. Yeah, so that'll be good. And then what we'll do is we'll boost this up. Gonna make like a mountain. If we can. Ghostly cowboy, welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. And we gotta convert, like, all of this to rock and stuff. I suppose I could build it out of rock, but... That's... Yeah, look at that! Big old dirty probe coming out of the ground. That just... <laughs> that was... That was very dirty. Hey, Charlene! Thank you so much for becoming a member. Welcome to the community. I greatly appreciate the support. I don't know if this is going to work quite the way I wanted it to. How am I going to... If I just get down here and just push it back a little bit? Yeah. Now we just got to kind of sculpt it the way we want. And Theta New, thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, I'm off to work, but here's a Corgi booty shake. Oh my god, my Corgi booty shake's not on. For the stream. Catch you later. Oh, Theta New, thank you so much for the support. I do greatly appreciate it. There we go. So that is a little bit better. That gives us a little bit of a foundation. And maybe what we'll do is we'll decrease the size a little bit so we can have a little bit more control over this. I'm just going to pull this out a little bit. And we're going to just fill this in with rock when we get a chance. But I wanted to create maybe like a waterfall as well. So I wanted to create like a base up here with water. And then kind of have it flow down into a pond right here. We're getting fancier with this. Now that I'm getting like the hang uh, of, of how all this stuff works. I've got plans, ladies and gentlemen. Things are going to start getting fancier and fancier as we as we progress through all of this. Now we need to pull this out this way. Go. This out this way a little bit. I'm going to pull this up. Make it smaller and then the intensity a little bit bigger so we can make kind of formations here. Basically just want to have like the, the water draining down this way. 
I don't, I don't know exactly how it's going to work yet. But we'll do it! There we go. We got water up there. Water! We got the water! Emily Fisher! Oh god, dangerous animals have escaped. Where? Oh god! No! Oh, oh god! Holy Jesus, what happened? Why have you done this? What the hell? So I've been having tons of issues with this pen. Oh, hold on. One second. I'll be right back. Apologize. Sorry about that, everybody. Whew. Had a phone call that I had to take. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh, God. Big disaster. That was like some kind of crazy cliffhanger, wasn't it? I'm about to put a... You know what? But we do this. I'm gonna turn this into brick. <laughs> now what are you gonna do, you silly buffaloes? You're gonna break through some oh my god, some brick? I don't think so, hombre. Not today, home skillet. Not today. Okay, that should be a little bit better. And we gotta call a mechanic for some reason. I think my... My work zones keep getting deleted. And another work zone. It did. What the hell? Okay. Interesting. Very strange. I've had issues with that the past couple days. Well, what it comes down to is, um, you can use wood walls for them. The problem is they're not repairing the walls. So you ha see, you can see here how this is degraded. Barrier status 13%. So I've got a mechanic coming in who's going to actually repair that right now. You can see him work right here, and then they'll bring up the barrier percentage. To 100%. Uh, he just got removed from his workload. Ah! No! Bad buffalo! <laughs> oh my god! How's the house? We have about 15 fans right now. Um, stop it, you dickhead buffalo! You guys can... No. What's up, bud? What'd you do? Here you go. Alright, no playing with it. <clears throat> how's the how's the indoor swimming pool? It's uh it was definitely an experience. You know what? We're gonna just move them to the trade center until this mechanic fixes this stuff. There we go. Raid center. There we go. Alright, so I'll let him repair the walls. 
I'm gonna actually see how our ape pens are doing. Yeah, the ape pens are good. Do we have babies yet? Is any of your egos pregos? Are you pregnant? Not yet. You don't have a current mate? Uh, we need to get one more mandrel in here before they'll start getting their groove on. Oh, this glass is seen better days. All right, so everything here is really good. We do need to get one more mandrill. They also changed your... They gave us the ability to sort through all this stuff in an update. Ah, oh, there's no mandrills yet. All right, all right. We're just going to have to hope for some babies. Reporting looking injured. It's in the... It's in the veterinary office. All right, well, let's pack this bad boy up. Put that in the trade center. Do we have any more animals in here? They're all in the trade center. All in the trade center! Okay. Oh, Sam, thank you so much for the super chat. With all of the Red Dead Redemption monies you've made, you deserve some of my actual monies. Sam, thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you for the corgi booty shake, you wonderful human you. I do greatly appreciate it. Now, what we're going to need to do is if we're going to put hippos in here, we just need an exhibit so we continue to make money. I mean, we're making decent amounts of money now. We're going to have $100,000 soon. I wish there was a better way. Is there a better way to remove the plants? Like, can I just select these and delete them? That'd be really cool if we could do that. I don't think we can. This. Can I select them? Oh, it's not gonna let me select multiple either. Nope. Ah, oh, that's that's a shame. Okay. Well, we'll fix this. We gotta convert it to a hip hop anonymous pen. Sam, thank you so much again. the mod to turn off freaking slow mode and stupid people start popping in chat and spamming garbage all the time sdm how's it going it's going really well the zoo is actually rather successful at the moment we've been having some issues with like pathing and stuff but in the grand scheme of things uh things are going actually rather well i know it looks like everybody's unhappy right now and they kind of are um but it's mainly because I can't seem to get marketing and I can't keep this habitat clean. But it's getting clean now, so that should be fine. The temperature is appropriate. I think now that the water buffalo are out, they should be okay. Well, let's actually put that in the trade center. Kinda want I want way more zebras. I want lots and lots of zebras. It looks like the temperature is a bit of an issue. I'm going to enrichment, stud book. You guys, you guys gonna make any babies? Not yet. I'm sorry that I couldn't stay long. I have a new job, so I gotta get going. Have fun with the zoo. Oh, Cat Tims. Happy birthday again, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Your workplace today. Thank you so much for the support. Wish you the best. Not the best. Ever was. I don't know I'm gonna bring me down. I'm demonetized. Oh yeah. Got to be a better way to do this. I know there is. There usually is. Anytime I say there's got to be a better way, there always is. It's just a matter of figuring it out. I think they should be okay with the taiga rocks. Contains a dead animal? Of course it does. So all the animals in this particular pen are actually really, really old. Uh, one thing that I do hope that they do in the future is that they... They increase the lifespan. The, the, basically, the time goes by really, really fast. And if we expect to, like, be able to get attached to these animals... They need to be able to live longer for that to happen. 
I can't live till 19 years old, but a year goes by in like a flash. <clears throat> I did like our bear pen, but we can do so much better. So much better. This is definitely more appropriate for a hip hop anonymous than a bear. Except for, you know, the snow. I don't think hippos like snow. Imagine snow hippos. How terrifying would that be? It'd be absolutely the most terrifying thing in the world. A lot of work to make all that snow. All right. Cave should be fine still. Just got to get some of this stuff out. Free needs to go. Hippos are terrifying in general. Yeah, but put a hippo in the snow. We'll just slide after you and eat your soul. Sledding hippos. Was it more difficult building the trap and ancestors or the enclosure here? Definitely the enclosure here. All right, we should be good now. Get some sweet, sweet hip hop anonymous action in here. We're gonna need hippo names. We got four hippos, ladies and gentlemen. Put your names in the chat. Well, we will name all the hippos. I know they probably won't live long enough for us to really appreciate the hippo names, but we can at least try. All right. We're good. Hip hop anonymous time. Name the hippo hippo. Well played. Well played. One hip hop anonymous. Two hip hop anonymous. Three hip hop anonymous. The new hit song releases tomorrow. Tater? Oh yeah, somebody did ask for a, a hippo named Tater. And then we gotta do Tater Tot. If we have a baby. Hip Hop Anonymous. Our first hippo! It's the female. Oh my god. Alright, so social is down. Habitat? They're actually happy with the habitat? Look at me go. Um, so they need enrichment and they need social. Habitat is now going down. Hard shel we, they have a hard shelter. Shelter space is critically insufficient. That's what your mom said. Okay. We need a bigger shelter. Or maybe a different shelter? Do hippos live in caves? That's really the question here. Do hippos live in caves? Habitat. One extra large shelter, I suppose. Oh... F that! I ain't putting a freaking ginormous shelter in here. You crazy, Miss Daisy. That thing is redonkulous. There's no way a hippo needs a shelter that big. Not no way, not no how. Now let's see. Alright, habitat's good now. They just needed two shelters is all it was. Bloaty? <laughs> Alright, we'll name one Bloaty. So who's gonna be... This one can be Tater. And we got Bloaty. And then Gloria! Where's Gloria at? There's Gloria. Perfect. Gloria the Hip Hop Anonymous. Why do they still need a different hard shelter? This is bull dookie. I'm not putting a big one in here. I am not. Jess Henriquez. How are you doing today? Name for a female hip hop anonymous, Gloria. For four generations. <laughs> Loving the stream tag. This game combines two things. I love building stuff and taking care of animals. Oh, Jess, thank you so much for the corgi booty shake. I do greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. 
And we got Gloria. William Defoe. <laughs> okay, so let's see what's going on with some of these other ones. Uh, they need some enrichment. They need a toy enrichment. Let's actually see if we have anything here in the encyclopedia. Oh, they like sprinklers, huh? Let's actually get some research down in here, too. On the Hip Hop Anonymous. There we go. So I'm a little curious as to why this isn't enough hard shelter for them. Base, insufficient size, or crowding issue present. Huh. Okay. That's a thing. We can do... Wow. Rocks are in the same thing. <laughs> Mistakes have been made. Getting these pens made, man. There's so many little things that can go wrong with the building of these pens. And so many things that can go right. Okay. Uh, we're going to keep that there. I'm going to rebuild that. So, habitat, social, animal has moderate social welfare issues. So, it's just the space issue. So if we go into social, it doesn't really say how much space we need. So I'm thinking if we just bring this other bit out here. Like this. Then we'll bring this bit out. Unless they like a smaller space? That would be a little weird, wouldn't it? They haven't even gone and played in the water yet. Oh, F you. I'm so used to right-clicking things to, like, cancel. Oh, that looks like hammered booty! See how that looks. All right, hippos, are you happy now with all that extra space? No. How much space does a hip hop anonymous need? Sweet baby Jesus. All right, well, let's focus on the hard shelter. I can't believe it's gonna make me put a, this in here. Like all the space. Sit down, bud. Oh my god. No way does that need to be a thing. There's no way. Maybe we'll just put a couple small ones in. And that way they have multiple homes to go to. You too, buddy. We'll do a small one here. And then another small one over here. Let's do another medium one here. Yeah. See if that helps out a little bit. Come on, really? That's just ridiculous. I'm not going to put one of those big-ass things in here. They can die, for all I care. Unless... Uh... Maybe we'll do that. Hold on. Still got it paused, right? Just gonna flatten this out.
And then maybe I can put it down so it doesn't look so stupid. What, what the hell does a hippo live in? Like, IRL. I'm just gonna make a hippo cave. Why not, right? What do I got to lose? Nothing. This doesn't match anymore, so we're just gonna take these out too. And then we can smooth all this out. I didn't ex anticipate these hippos being so darn picky. I was like, they like water and they like mud, right? And they like to poop everywhere. And maybe we can flatten this out a little bit better. And then I can make like a, a river system that kind of comes over here. Or not. <laughs> or not. Shutters. Hippos like rivers tag make a river environment, but that's not what it's saying they need. They got plenty of water. Um, the issue is they don't like the house that I've made for them. Let's we'll see what we got going on now. Hippos. Shelter space is critically insufficient. Let's see if I hit play. What happens? Yeah, so down to 1%. The, the terrain and everything was fine. That wasn't the issue. We need the shelter is the issue. Um... Oh, God. I can deal with this a little bit better than dealing with that other... Having it, like, at, like way up in the air and everything. So then I can build around this. You know? I can make this look better. I can make this look a lot better now. And we can make a cool little viewing area too. Apparently hippos like to sleep in shallow water. I kind of want to check out the, um, the single player uh, environment, or the campaign rather, just to see what they did, see how it works. We might pop it over there. I think this is going to work. It gives the hippos a place to hide. Let's hit play on that. Habitat. Hard shelter, 100%. They just needed the they just needed the massive one. All right, now we got to paint all this terrain and everything. And uh, Tom Davis and Dutters, thank you both so much for the super chats. Aubrey Jean, what's going on? Welcome back. I hope you and the kiddos are doing well. Those we'll spend about 16 hours a day in the water. While they sleep in the water, they surface automatically and breathe on it. Wake up. I don't know why they want a shelter. Exactly. I am I'm very dumbfounded at the moment by that. Like, uh, but maybe it's just the, the game's way of saying, like, hey, they need, um, like, a place to sleep or whatever. Or a place away from everything. Animal needs less long grass. Well, I figured that. We need rock, soil... No snow, unfortunately. We're going to fill this up with soil here. Uh, get blended in here a little bit. We can put some sprinklers in. We need some rock. Here. Go. Oh. Slowly getting the hang of all this stuff. There we go. Okay, now we just need to make this look good. Gooder? Better? More better? Ah, I have an idea. 
Ooh, I do. Do, I do, I do. Oop, Jesus. That's not what I wanted to do. I'm gonna smooth this out. And then... I don't exactly know how this if this is gonna work or not. I don't know if it's gonna work the way I want it to, rather. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm an idiot sometimes and I love it. I don't care. I don't care. You know what we can do though? Would it look good? Perhaps? Um. I just want to do something interesting with this. Let's do construction. Andy, thank you so much for the super chat. Smack that like button. Tag needs some love. <laughs> Thank you so much for the support. I do greatly appreciate it. Andy, thank you all. Thank you to everybody for coming to support this uh, endeavor of Planet Zoo. Y'all are amazing. Absolutely amazing. I wanted to group this. I don't know how to purposefully group something, though. There we go. I'm just going to use the longer one, so I don't have to worry about that. I want to make, like, a dam kind of looking thing. You know? Use it as a barrier a little bit. Add some spacing into this. I want it to look good, but not like perfect, you know? Is there too much of a gap there? There is. Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit. I don't know, what do you guys think of that? You think it's a decent enough idea? Now the question is, can we fill it up with water? <laughs> I, I want to try and fill it up with water without doing this, because this is going to actually lead me to another thing later. Okay. So it does not work. What we need to do now, then... So we got to put in a barrier. We'll go with wood logs. Or can we go with... Uh, define a perimeter of a habitat where a barrier is needed. A river for animals that can't swim. I'm going to do this. to be a little interesting. These are supposed to register as stuff like that for, for purposes of water. They just don't yet. You know, beta stuffs. We'll just blend it in and it should work. There we go. Lower this bit. Like a so. Raise this bit. Like a so. Lower this a little bit more. Can't. 
this. Move it out this way a little bit. And then we'll adjust the logs around it to make it work. Now we should be able to put water in here. Perfect! Almost like I knew what I was doing. Almost. <laughs> I'm gonna get too crazy with it. It is a hippo pen after all. Okay. We've got that. And I think that looks good. Oh, Cripsy, thank you for the support. When will Ancestors come back? Anytime it gets an update or an expansion, it'll probably definitely come back when it releases for consoles, because I'll be wanting to experiment with it. All right, so what's going on with our habitat here? We need some enrichment. So Hip Hop Anonymouses, like sprinklers. We'll put one there. We'll put one down here. Maybe we'll put one here, too. That way they got enrichment now. And then maybe this might be too deep for them. Thinking. Haven't seen them swim yet. Okay, let's see. Can these be... I don't like this. We've got the water trough. We've got that. Let's see what else they need. Social. Face. Still. The adult population is good. Ah, oh, there we go. Now it's going in the water. See? And then you can see the hippo swimming. I think it's super cool. Oh, yeah. Now we got people going down to look at the hippos swim. <laughs> the plan is working! Now we've got to figure out the size issue here. That research is complete. Is that for the Hip Hop Anonymous? Hope it is. There we go. If that's not enough space, I don't know what will be. Nutrition, welfare. Oh, yep, it's enough space. They're good now. Temperature is appropriate, but not perfect. Uh, enrichment, so they just need food enrichment now. And social... Oh, the space. I don't think that's ever going to change. <laughs> I just want the hippos to get their groove on. Oh, look at it sit under the sprinkler. That's funny. Splash me! <laughs> One's pooping. You can hear that from like a mile away. Big Hip Hop Anonymous's need space? I guess so. Aside from that, I think everything else is good. Hip Hop Anonymous! Oh, wow. Okay, so we got one toy, and we don't get the feeder one until the next level. All right, so the question now is, how do we want to decorate the rest of this? And then do we want to make a viewing platform behind here at some point? And, um... I think that's good. We just got two hippos chilling in the water. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's good. That's perfect. We need to put a donation thing a little bit closer, I think. Hip Hop Anonymous. Let's see if we can buy more hippos. We're up to, like, on almost $90,000 now. Look at that. We're doing good. 
Oh, yes, education boards do need to be changed. Thank you. You're a scholar and a gentle person. Hip hop anonymous. Hippity hoppity, hippity hoppity anonymous. Alright, so this is definitely no longer a grizzly bear. <laughs> it's like a grizzly bear, but hippo sized. Do we not have an information board down here? We do not. Also, I've got this stuff going on down here. I haven't decorated it yet. But I've got shops, and I've got room for more shops down here, too. What we need to do... We need to move this one. Where they are. Get those donations. And then we need an information board down here. Infotainment. Habitat Education Board. We'll do this one. We'll do another one over here. Next to this donation board. Because maybe they'll sit here and be like, oh, I'll donate. And then we'll do another one down here, too. One day, people will come down here. And they'll be like, oh, maybe I should donate here, too. I must put one in with the hippos. Hippos, would you donate, please? This would be a great polar bear setup, too. I agree. Now, we have a speaker down here, which discusses uh, hip-hop anonymous-based trivia. That bad boy right there now. Oh, yeah. This is getting so much more popular now. Sweet. Very nice. We need to fix the social and we need to fix the enrichment. We might not even need to fix the social if we've got the enrichment that we need. This person's researching like crazy. What did we get for a toy? A mirror mobile? And boxes? Who likes the mirror mobiles? Do hippos like those? Oh, it likes a Skittle. A Skittle and a hanging barrel feeder. Interesting. Yes. Barrel feeder. Put one there. And one there. We'll get you a little Skittle. Put another one over here. Actually, I don't think that hippo can get up there. Maybe that's why it was saying there wasn't enough terrain. Because some of it isn't traversable. Let's see if it is now. We can go in here. Go into habitat. Can't tell if this is traversable. Filter. I feel like that's still too steep. Too steep for a hippo! That's a little bit better. I want to name one Greta. I don't know why. I feel like it's a good hip-hop anonymous name. Are you happy? They're really happy, except for the space thing. We got all of our hippos down in the water now. Which you cannot see in. <laughs> Alright, we might need another water pump. Where the hell did my water pump go? What the hell? <laughs> it's gone! It was right here! <laughs> it's gone! Steve stole the water pump! You've got to be kidding me. We're going to need like two water pumps in here at the least, probably. Klepto water pump thieves. Eh. That explains why that water was looking so filthy. All right. Two 
water pump. Dirty little pump snatchers. <laughs> Maybe too much water and not enough land. I was kind of debating making this a little bit smaller. That way they had to swim closer to the to the walls too. We'll have to see. Stupid. Freaking. So the temperature is a little rough here. What temperature do they need? Rain. Oh, so they do need wa more water area. Okay. I didn't see that before. Well, let's, uh, let's do that then, huh? Sitting here trying to make things bigger and better. They don't need that. I think I saw somebody say that in the chat earlier, too, so I apologize if you're trying to make me not be dumb and I just kept being dumb anyways. <laughs> so what we need to do is delete the water. We can make more. And then I'm just going to build this all the way around then. Put it this way a little bit. So they can come like up into the ramp into the water. And then... That's to figure it out. I kind of want to make like a tunnel that you can like... T that would be really cool. I don't think that's possible though. I want to like... Make it so they could walk into the water. How awesome would that be? Do you think? I wonder if we can do it. Riddle me freaking super duper curious right now. How am I going to do this? Do I have any glass stuff? Ooh. Ooh, I do. I do. This is actually what I've been waiting for because I wanted to put this in glass too. That's why I haven't built the roof on this yet. Ho 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 ho. Okay. A modern wall arch tunnel. I don't know if this is gonna... <laughs> We're gonna find out though. Super duper easy. Modern glass wall. That looks freaking Super cool. Still hungry? How is this possible? Hungry, hungry children are hungry children, you say? Well, I'm streaming right now, you two. Okay. You need to be patient, hungry little children. Um. All right, so we need to adjust that wall. This one here. I don't want to accidentally drown everybody. <laughs> there we go. Is that how it locks together? Wait, what's going on here? This is interesting. Ah. He said the blind man. E. It actually has a face. There we go. Okay, now we need to put a roof on it. Do not tap. 
Right, what snaps? What snaps to this? There we go. If this works, I'm gonna be so happy. All right, before we do anything too crazy now, let's make sure that the water actually doesn't do anything stupid. Ah, man. Man. There's still, there's still a chance that this could work. There's still a chance. I know what we need to do. I know what we need to do. No, I don't. Maybe we need to put a floor on it. And then we need a path, too. Modern glass roof. I don't know if this is going to actually work. Like... Even so far as them being happy inside of it, you know? Did I lose the glass piece? Oh, look at this. We got, like, etched glass, too. That's, that looks really cool. Modern glass wall. Glass floor. We don't need a floor. We'll just do a metal plank floor. Why don't you want to snap? Hold on, let's delete this. And start over. We need... I don't think it's going to actually work. Because... Multiple reasons. <laughs> You're making a shark tunnel, but for hippos? Exactly. It's brilliant. Hmm. I don't think it's going to work. Because we can't have a floor and then a pathway for people to walk on, too. <clears throat> I mean, what we could do is use glass barriers, but the hippos won't be able to swim above it. Interesting. I want to see. What happens if we put a no berry, a null barrier here? I don't know if it will null out water too. Basically, an invisible barrier is what it is. I highly doubt it's gonna work, but I'm just. Curious. I had to try. <laughs> Wait, is that null barrier still there? Oh god. <laughs> that could have been bad. We'll try a couple more things. What I want to do is construction... Let's just, I just want to see if anything we do actually works. We'll do wall. If it treats it as a barrier, like, whatsoever. Maybe there's a setting? Flatten terrain, auto stacking. Null and nearby underground barriers. There's no option to treat it as... Barrier. What is going on with this? Oh my god. Really, in game? In what? In what universe does this want to do any of those things that you're saying? Oh. 
Holy crap. You've got to be shitting on my face right now. Thank you. Oh, okay. Basically what I'm doing now is if this doesn't treat it as a closed thing that water can't be inside of, then nothing will be able to right now. I know it's supposed to, but I don't think it works in the beta. That's something that I will do, obviously, in the future. Okay, yeah, so it doesn't even treat this as a thing, so, okay. It just is what it is. Uh, we gotta delete this now. <laughs> it was a dream. I know it's supposed to do it, but it just doesn't work in the beta. We had a dream, ladies and gentlemen. Sometimes, you know, just dreams just don't pan out. Let's see if that's enough. Oh, God. The hippo still needs more. Uh, use glass barrier and then put some soil on the top of the roof. I could do that. It's not really what I want to do, though. Because I want to... Like, what I want is for them to be able to see under the water. Or see above them, too. I think the hippos are in the way. You gotta move them. Excuse me, Ms. Yacht Hippo. I'm gonna have to pack you up, home skillet. Leave that. You just need a little bit more water. I did not anticipate the hippos being so extremely picky. Because the pen and the... And the thing looked relatively... Simple. Let's just push this in a little bit too. Back this way. That should be enough. If that's not enough, I'm going to be really, really, really surprised. need to be deeper okay there we go it just didn't update <laughs> okay we're good now gotta give it a second to update ladies and gentlemen or you might freak out a little bit just like me hip hop hippity hoppity anonymousy and i hope you all are enjoying the live stream if you are make sure to fondle that like button Whisper sweet nothings to it. Smack it around a little bit. Show it some love. I would greatly appreciate the support. Okay, now plants. We gotta get some plants up in here. We need aquatic and grassland plants. Actually, let's see if we can do some re research. More research, please. We've also got new toys, new edumacation, which is good. Um, diddly do. Gonna get more zebras one day. It's gonna be awesome. I want to research this. Okay. <laughs> okay, so hippos are happy. We do have new hippo toys. Let's see here. We go into here. Ah, the rubbing pillar and a large barrel feeder. Let's just get a large rubber in here, giggity. And... And we need some plants. And maybe some rocks. 
biome. I forgot. <laughs> Are they out of water? Oh. Water area. We need almost double the amount of water area. Maybe we'll just make it deeper. Okay, goody. We're just going to make it deeper. That's what we'll do. If we can't make it wider, we'll make it deeper. And that'll drastically increase uh, the water area. Guess that'll look good. We got floating rocks. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Update. There's way more water than that. Way more water. Or is it too deep? Maybe it's too deep. We're learning. At the very least, we're learning. <laughs> uh, flatten to foundation. The only reason why I'm saying... Ooh, did it F that up? Oh, it did. Man. Okay, no, it's gonna go back. bringing everything back up to where it was before. And then we've just got to make it shallower. Bringing up everything a little bit, and then we'll flatten it out. I guess we don't really need to flatten it out. Okay. I'm just going to leave it, because they're, they're pretty much happy anyways, so. That's down a little bit, but otherwise, everything else is really good. I'm not going to mess with it anymore. But they definitely didn't like it when it was super shallow. Or super deep, rather. But otherwise, the hippos are happy, so I'm happy-ish. We spent way too much time on those stupid hippos, though. 
Way too much. We got a bear pen to make. <clears throat> the bear pen is actually going to be much, much, much cooler. If we can get it to work the way I'm thinking. I want to have like a little, a, a Jesus. Oh. A little river? Less than that intensity. That goes through. Ends here. There we go. Then I want to put water up here. Need to mess with this a little bit more before we can do that. And then I want to have a waterfall that comes down into here. And then obviously we'll have the, the shelter down there. And then maybe like a little bit of water trickling off this side would be kind of cool. The hippos are happy. We got to decorate the hippo pen a little bit too. Okay, so let's mess with this a little bit more. Just want to... Pull this out. We can get a little bit more water up here. It looks a little bit better. What's going on, Corb? How you doing? Aquivis, I'm glad you enjoy him. Thank you for the support. And we're going to put rocks on all of this to kind of make it look better. Just got to get to that point first. I wish I could edit the land and the water at the same time. That way I could make it all look the way I want properly. Why is it not wanting to work now? Water? Interesting. very picky about the water stuff. There we go. That looks better. Now we need to use effects. I got watermelon! Special effect water jet large? No. Water jet medium. Flash large? There we go. Maybe not a splash. We can put them down here, though. We'll mix these in here. This was waterfall top. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. Woo, baby. I just want to look at these other ones. Waterfall midsection. Getting this to look like a waterfall is going to be a pain in the balls, but I hope it's going to be worth it. I think if we kind of just spread these out with different things, it'll probably look okay. You also need to make this into rock. Help it look a little bit better. 
Watermelon. I'm gonna put a. I'm just gonna make a watermelon waterfall. <laughs> It'd be such a disaster. We've got a midsection. I don't know what this does. I'm gonna assume it does nothing. Because it's doing absolutely nothing. Actually, this is actually going to look pretty good, though, I think. Especially once we fill it in with rocks and stuff. What does everybody think? Gotta get some rotation up in here. There we go. I'm going to go in one direction. I'm kind of just clicking it down and then also rotating it at the same time. We get some different looks to the way the water's coming down. Okay, now we just gotta get some some rocks and stuff in there. We have what does the waterfall bottom look like? Ah, that looks good. Yes. And then, for this, we're going to use rough water. I just saw somebody put that in chat, too. <laughs> but I did use rough water. There we go. Got rough water there, rough water down there. That looks better. Now we just got to fill this up with rocks. That way, it, it has a reason to look rough like this. We're going to use some tiger rocks. Ooh, baby. Much, much better with the rocks. It's these little decorations that really make everything pop a little bit better. Wish was playing some music. Oh, quiet now. Where's my beautiful zoo music? Oh, that looks so much better already. So much better. Oh, yeah. That's going to look great. Perfect. Happy little boulders. Doing their gerb. Making me a waterfall. Obviously, we got to place a whole bunch of rocks and stuff. That doesn't look good there. I actually kind of like that. If I could get it in. Giggity. There we go. I don't know if it's or not. You can always remove it.
Now that one rock actually looks out of place. We're definitely going to have to move it. That looks better. Hey, Funky, thank you. Frontier needs to put this masterpiece on a community live stream. I don't know. I don't really know if I would call it a masterpiece. I'm definitely, I'm definitely not anywhere near some of the, like, really, really good Frontier builders. There are people that just build truly, like, magnificent things in these games. It's ridiculous, some of the stuff they build. That looks good. I think I'm gonna hold off on doing more of the mountains so we can get some of the other enclosure stuff done. We got the basics of it done now. Just need some tall grass and some shrubbery. Get me a shrubbery. Put it over there next to that one. Perfect impression, right? Absolutely perfect impression. We gotta make this all mountainy. I wish we could colorize like the, the rocks that we're using for the mountainy stuff. Instead of it just all kind of looking like mud, you know? Perhaps that's something we can unlock at some point. Obviously, we're going to put more rocks and stuff on this, but still. It's a work in progress. Spill my drink? Oh my I doing with my life? <sighs> add a tree? Oh, we can definitely add some trees going up the mountain and stuff to make it look a little bit fancier. Uh, we got $110,000. Water treatment failed. Hip Hop Anonymouses are still pretty happy. They're not the happiest hippos in the world, but they are happy enough. We need more hippos, though. Honestly, getting more hippos would be better than having... Unless the, the more hippos... I don't know. We're going to find out. Hip, hop, hippity, hoppity, hip, hop, anonymous. We got one more, baby. One more hippo. And then we're going to start squirting out tons of hippo babies. All right. We're going to find out real quick if they need a lot more water. <laughs> Do we really need that many hippos? The answer to that question is a resounding yes. There's a pregnant hippo. <gasps> Do November year 15. It's June. Oh God. We're going to have so many hippos. Okay. Oh, stress level is decreasing. That's nice. Social's going up. Nutrition last meal quality is a little meh. Uh, oh, you know what? Where's this food going to go? Where'd that poop come from? What we need we need a different feeder down here, I think, is what we need. Yeah, that's why. Let's do... Food. I think they want a food trough. Does Hip Hop Anonymous eat out of this? They do. Do hippos eat out of this? They don't. We'll put that one close. What you doing, hippo? It's like, I just wanted to lay down right next to the wilder. <laughs> I want to stick my face in it a little. There we go. 
There we go. I do want to do. Do do. <laughs> See if we can smooth this out a little bit more. Uh oh. We're about to have a hippo fight? No. I hope not. Okay, no hippo fights, please. I respectfully decline the hippo fights. Okay. We're doing good. Guests are happy. Education is meh. I can't do marketing, and I could do conservation. But let's just start working on the stuff down here. So... One thing that I want to do is obviously we're going to need a barrier down here. We're going to need a glass barrier. And let's see if we can get a glass barrier that just goes from here... All the way across. Maximum length. 15 meters. And we'll put it right there. Like a so. Perfect. And then can we attach... Is that a thing that we can do? I guess we're going to find out. We're doing it. We're doing it live. Won't know until later. Uh, so what I think I can do, is if I lessen the length of this, I'm going to shorten this. <laughs> Things are going crazy. We should be able to actually do a null thing through here. Don't want it to... They can't traverse this anyways. And then from here, I want it to be brick again. And we'll swing it around like this. That should be good. And then we'll go like this. And then that way we get a bunch of different viewing angles of this big habitat. And we can get quite a few bears in here. Actually, we can't get quite a few bears in here. So this habitat actually needs to not be all that huge. Maybe what we'll do is we'll close up this back end. But then what do we put in here in the back? We can make this another small pen, maybe? I think that's what we'll do. Or a place for behind-the-scenes shenaniganry. That might not be a bad idea. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to make this a legitimate cave on one side. Well, not one. You know what I'm saying. A hole on one side and not on the other. Crap, what's happening? Oh, welfare. Thirsty? Did we not fix... Oh, shit. I can't... Oh, we've got this crap happening again. You're not a mechanic. How's the mechanic? Fine, I'll buy one. <laughs> we got plenty of money right now. And we honestly probably need another one anyways. <sighs> uh, the pathing issues are really hurting. Now what you gonna do? Nothing! You can see this guy can't get in. There we go. We're going to put a backup water source in here, too, just to be safe. Water trough. Large. Hip-hop anonymous is like this. We'll put it down here so they can drink water. 
without being seen if they so desire. Look at the hippo swim! Swim, my precious hippos! Swim! I said one of those hippos' babies are due in January. January is when my birthday is, so is there any chance you could name the hippos' baby after my glorious mustache? Does your mustache have a, ne a name? Oh, look at that hippo going right for the glass. Donate all of your money now! <laughs> oh, have we had any monkey babies yet? Information center without a venter for a while. We got more hip hop anonymous research. We're actually going to keep researching the hippos because anything we can do to make them happier is going to make me happy. I actually want more of this New World stuff. That stuff is really cool. All right, mandrills. <gasps> we have any babies? Why have you guys not banged yet? I mean, you're pretty happy. Habitat, temperature, terrain. Oh, why is this? How is there long grass in here? You guys need less soil and needs more long grass. They won't get their groove on if they're not perfectly happy. Get rid of some of the soil. There we go. We got long grass all around the back. Coverage is almost too much. Plants are good. I think they just banged. Did you hear that? That was the sound of 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 mandrills getting their groove on. Let's see if that works. Back to what we were doing over here before we were so rudely interrupted. I know we got some two, two things over there. Let's see. Terrain. We can actually pause. But research is complete. That was quick. Good lord. Researching them hippos like it's... Don't even know. Don't even know. Oh. Close this bad boy up. Honestly, we should probably just close it up with rocks, but... Excuse me, game. Close in the hole. I'm gonna put trees on that little nub bit. I wanna actually make a little bit of a half trees to sit on a little bit. Just some little points, things like that. Around it for some plants and stuff. I don't know. Just make it look a little bit different. Higher points here. We gotta decorate this all with trees and things. That'll be good. Now we need lighting. <laughs> lights. We got all sorts of lights now, though. A new world area lights. Is there power out here? Oh, you gotta be <laughs> on the very fringe of the power area. That's funny. Can I get back inside of here, please? Is it actually lighting stuff? 
really. Not really. So what I want to do is actually... Do I want to make it look like a cave, or do I want to make it look like a building? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Ian, what... It does indeed. His name is Mr. F oh, Fuzzle Slug. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. All right. We'll name we'll name it Mr. Fuzzle Slug when we have one. Let's see here. Got rocks for days. Oh, that's not a thing anymore. We need to finish that pathing before we do anything else. It's already a pain in the balls to do it. The habitat barrier, rather. It was just like, you get out! Light at the back of the cave, the view having to be darkish? Okay. Sounds good to me. We gotta bring these bad boys up, too. Gonna bring it right into the ceiling bit. Blending, it's blending. Then eventually, when I can research the the one-way glass, we're gonna make it all one way. That looks good. So we got the viewing area, and now we gotta fill this in with rocks and stuff. Open the hole, some holes in the top for skylights. I'm just gonna put some artificial lighting in. I think it'll look good. New World Path light. Um, stadium light. Oh my god. We got path lights. I think I'll just light up the cave area with path lights, and then we should be okay. Back to nature. Get some rock action going on up in here. We gotta make the whole thing look like a cave, which is gonna be a little bit of work. I'm gonna try and do it as quickly as possible, and then um, we can worry about making it super duper perfect at another point in time. We don't have all the decorations unlocked anyways yet. I'm really gonna be using two different types of rocks for this. Come on, place, baby. That's right. Right about there. It would be kind of cool for to have bats, wouldn't it? Just like living in the cave with them. Is it January yet? It's November. Which means we just had a Hip Hop Anonymous, baby. Hip Hop Anonymous, baby! Where are you at? Hippo baby, where'd you go? Got hippo baby coming out. Hip hop. Offspring imminent! I just want to see it squirt out of the butt. Let's do this! 
Oh, that's not a baby! No! No! Oh, God! Make it look like a rave. <laughs> oh, my God. Not pooping everywhere. I want to see babies. Join us as we watch the Hip Hop Anonymous give birth for its first time. Hey, Emily. And Justin Roy, thank you so much for re- Ah! Hi, baby! Oh, it's adorable! Hello, little baby Hip Hop Anonymous. What are you doing this fine day? Okay, so this is the November baby. Ian wanted the, the January baby named... A love cave? <laughs> oh, God. So what do we want to name this baby here? And then we gotta... We gotta name the January one after Ian's mustache. Oh, what's going on over here? People aren't cleaning the damn habitat again. I bet it got reset. The, the workspace got re reset again. I guarantee it. <laughs> Where am I going? <sighs> there we go. Work zone. So cleaning one. Knew it. Oh, no. This isn't supposed to be in there. Oh, I'm gonna leave it anyways. Just just in case. Um it's not supposed to be cleaning one that we're doing. We need to do herbs. No, it's there. Was the pathing broken again? What is going on? I'm gonna hire some more zookeepers while we have because we have a bunch of stuff here. Actually, oh, I need to give these guys a raise too. Just kidding, I'll just hire more. Ain't no money for you, son. Hip. Herbs. Do it to it. Clean it, baby. At least the everything else is... There's a keeper there now. Why do you guys want it called it call it Moto Moto? Oh, it's just one person spamming Moto Moto. Okay, I was like, that's a lot of a uh, lot of stuff going on here. We fully researched the hip hop anonymous. Oh, it's so close. I really wish this would research. Okay. Um, back to the bear pen. <laughs> so easily distracted today. Actually, before we do that, we need to actually figure out where the hell this barrier is going to be. Or, like, how big the pen is going to be and stuff. I think I'm just going to do it like this. So habitat... We do need to go in here. We'll do barrier. We need to do this. Then when we get this going on, we can kind of just set it wherever we want. Let me place you. You know you want to. Let me place you. Watch me just not be able to play. I was gonna say, I was like, oh, hello. 
that ain't gonna work. That ain't gonna work. Not no way, not no how. That's like a freaking lightsaber when we're trying to place this thing. There we go, finally. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. Now we just gotta bring it around town. Follow the river bit here. I think that'll be good. There. We now have it set up. Whole thing set up, right? Yes. Yes, we do. The Christmas freaking miracle. This doesn't need to be that tall. Bring this baby down to full meter. Bring this bad boy up. Full meter. Much better. Is anymore right now? Using all of my brain at the moment for some reason. Usually I could talk and play at the same time, but right now I'm just like, nope. Not happening, brother! You shall not ask, go. Collect words. There we go. Okay, now we just need to make sure that this is. We can classify as a habitat soon. Now we gotta figure out where we gotta put the gate. So I'm thinking we're gonna put a little station back here. Um for workers. I like hiding all the stuff as much as possible, so that's what we're gonna do back here with this area. <clears throat> so now this is classified as a habitat, and we can look at it and see the traversable area. any weak escape points or anything. I don't know if I'm using that whole thing right, but we'll find out. But our bear enclosure is looking pretty good. So now I want to have the path follow along this. We need to have it not tunneling, no path supports, no flattened terrain, railing on ground queue, curb on ground path, snap along borders. Okay. I want to make sure that was on. There we go. Now I kind of want to get this going with a little something something as well. I'm going to make this a wide path. Have it go up to here. And then split it off a little bit. Why was this six? This was ten. There we go. Looking good. Looking good. Figuring out the path thing has just been a nightmare, but once you get it figured out, it's a little bit better. Is 
don't want you to bend. No bendy bend, please. Excuse me. I guess we'll just leave it as a T intersection. Fine. Looks like a D. All right. Bear enclosure 2.0 looking lit so far. Now we just got to decorate it with trees. Got tiger rocks. Biome, tundra, temperate, and taiga. Is that the sweet sound of a hippo, like, pooping everywhere, or were they fighting? Something was happening. In lockdown for a long time. We still got hungry and thirsty people. Let's pause it. We got a lot of money going on now. Did we miss the January baby? We did. <gasps> Ian. Where's the January baby? There it is. The baby was in lockdown. Oh my god. And its name is Harith. And it's thirsty. Okay. Okay. It's April, the January baby hippo has been born. <laughs> I'm looking for your, your hippo name now. I'm just going through chat. Ian, where are you? Come back to me. Birthday, it does have a name. Miss, so it's gonna be Miss Fuzzle Slug. I'm sorry, the female. <laughs> The two word? Oh, we'll do this. There we go. Perfect. Nailed it. I didn't forget, but I momentarily forgot. I can't believe they put the baby in lockdown. Evens, I say. Evens. Okay, so... Biome Continent, North America. Bears are going to be in here. Now, what trees will look good? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What kind of bear? It's going to be, um... Bear. The bear kind. Um, I forgot. It's, I think they're just brown bears, is what they are. I wanted to put different types of trees in, but. At the same time, I don't want to look at make it look too crazy. I think I'm just gonna go with one type with a bunch of different sizes, maybe. There we go. I don't know. We gotta fill it up with rocks and stuff too. Oh, snow would look great. Oh, I like the way you think. That's a freaking brilliant idea. Okay, we got to get coolers, too. Offleons, thank you for the super chat. Money's to help the zoo running. Thank you so much, Offleons. You're a scholar and a gentle squirrel, and I do greatly appreciate the support. Under habitat? Yes, it is. We need a whole bunch of coolers up here. If we're going to make the snow happen. I think that'll look wonderful, though. It's going to cost a lot of power. But at the end of the day, I do believe it'll actually be... I just put that in the freaking tree. <laughs> I think that might be enough. Beat the Master Rank Anjanath today. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Um, need to figure out... I want to make a... T you know what? We could probably make that a tunnel through here. Oh, that would look... That would look so good! 
Oh, good. Nice little path here. Little being the preemptive term. And once we got that in, we can go in and change it up here. Hopefully they'll be able to walk on this. And then now we can actually make our little area back here. Uh, for our zookeepers. Yes. Do it. Connect! I dare you to connect! There we go. <laughs> okay, so. Um, a couple things. Did we learn the new fancy habitat thing? Did we not? We did not. Shelters and climbing. Bleh. Staff facilities is what I wanted to learn. Oh, God. Research is so low on that. Ooh, baby. Hippos fully leveled up. Oh, yeah. Now we got advanced research. Is that a thing we can do now? Ooh. Oh, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right so I guess we're not going to be able to do anything too cool. We can get some facilities. A keeper hut. Excuse me. There we go. Hut. A little bit uh, like that. And then, I actually do need another workshop. That actually kind of interesting. And that honestly is really what we need. I will put a bathroom down here. Just because. Just a little complex of things that we need. Now we can stick the bears in, but only after we paint some handy dandy snow up here. Is it good to go for snow? I like it a lot. Not quite cold enough right there for snow. Just the top of the mountain, you know? Put that into a rock there. Then obviously we still need to actually put rocks and stuff along this to make it look a little bit better. But otherwise, I'm really liking the way this pen is coming out. Okay, what we needed to do down here, which I forgot, is we needed the electricity device. Need a transformer! Nailed it! Oh, Peril Dawkins, thank you so much for the super chat. I'm glad you enjoy uh, what we've built so far. I'm 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 pretty proud of it. We had some we had some iffy situations there for a little bit while we were learning about everything. So the view is okay. Standard price is great. That's what I have like to see a happy, healthy African buffalo. So pretty much the only thing preventing them from being happy right now is the food and water situation, which we can fix very soon. And, uh, Peril, thank you so much again for the super chat. I do greatly appreciate it. 
We want to paint the back side of this. Paint this a little bit. That little nook there. And okay. Gotta get some boulder action. I think there's enough trees and stuff. At least up there. We're gonna need trees down here and everything still. We need rocks down here. Nature. Maybe some dead trees might not be a bad idea to put along this too. To mix it up a little bit. I wish we could put snow like on the things. I want to put some reeds down here. Oh, welfare. Mrs. Fuzzle Slug! What's going on with you? You're stuck. Okay. Poor Mrs. Fuzzle Slug. Water treatment failing again. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. The pathing here is jacked up. How's the game? You know what? We're going to make a specific thing just for that. If we go into staff here, the work zones, we're going to create a new work zone. We're going to call it Watertown. Uh, yeah. Then, is this staff center here? Where's the staff center? We'll put them in that staff center too. That way, they get to sleep and poop and pee all right near where they work. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so, mechanic, are you not assigned to anything? You need to go to work zone 6. And you too! And you need more money. Okay, fine. 1500 hundred might have people quit on us this guy's super happy we're gonna give him a raise everybody gets 1500 they accidentally type in 15,000 <laughs> and then I'm broke in like five seconds that one's not going up okay oh this one's at 15,000 though oh my god no bad holy Jesus okay Eh, there we go. Now we're gonna have to release Mrs. Fuzzle Slug soon. I wanna I wanna get my bears in here. We need to finish the cave too. This is probably the most craziness we've done for an enclosure yet. We also need to get I think I'm gonna focus on the rocks in here first. Kind of figure out the look that we want to go for with this. Nice if I could fill this in. Have it not look too bad. I think we might be able to achieve that. a very precarious situation we've got ourselves in. It's not one-way glass in the cave. Uh, I don't have the ability to get one-way glass yet. Uh, I'm trying to research it. It's, it's a work in progress still. Oh, 
And I'm hoping maybe I can shine lights down from that. Doing anything in this cave is... Tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. There we go. That's the ticket. This is the rock I was looking for. These are not the rocks you were looking for. And I work on the mouth. Oh. <laughs> Have been kicked out. Use rocks to hide the railing? Okay. Was I wasn't really sure if I was gonna do that or not. Makes this much better for the roof. It looks good. Getting that view. Properly place all these things. Ah, kicked me out again. Oh. Too far. Too far. Come back. This rock I was using? Nope. For shame. Oh, my rock. There you, game. The details just going into these just with these rocks oh these aren't even touching the ceiling none of those are <laughs> okay it's okay there's the rock i was looking for <sighs> this touches like right about there Sorry, everybody, if uh, watching me build inside a cave isn't the most thrilling thing in the world. But I think it's going to all pay off in the end. definitely chose to do a very difficult project for this live stream. Good. Very tedious. I feel like there's still a bear in there somewhere. I keep hearing a bear roar and I don't know where it's coming from. I just want to see how it looks as we as we go in. I think it looks pretty damn good actually. You guys were saying to somebody said to hide the railing with the with the rocks. Uh okay. <laughs> Excuse me? That looks good. Nature. Rock. Rock lobster, maybe? Rock. Rock lobster. And then we can, like, scale it back as we go back. Please me, game. Please give me my rock. Come hither, my precious. My precious stone. There we go. I kind of like the way that the railings blend into the rocks. I actually think that looks quite good. If I do say so myself, which I do. Sorry. Save your game. 
Daddy Tag's soothing voice is all we need. Oh, thank you, Tom Davis. I do greatly appreciate the support. Thank you for the super chat, you wonderful human, you. That looks... Completely forgot I have the ability to rotate. Even better than what I've been using so far. All that path done with one glorious rock. Oh, that looks dumb. That looks better. Change up the rocks now. Been using that one for a while. On this face. There we go. Now we're cooking with cave gas. I de that sounds like a grizzly bear. I'm telling you, there's a grizzly like under the ground or something. Oh yeah, that looks freaking lit. I love it. Unless hippo sounds like bears, I don't know. Change it up here a little bit. Okay. Change these up a little tad while we're going this way. Light's about to get covered up. Farewell, sweet prince. You served us well for five minutes. But all good things must pass. Ain't looking so good. Alright, I'm pretty happy with this. It even doesn't look bad from the bear's point of view. Exactly, Fluffy. That's, ex that's exactly what it's like. I'm going to be too picky on the roof. We're never really going to see it. Just needs to be filled in. There we go. Now we're finally getting to the actual cave bit. I just realized, like, I'm not talking into the microphone half the time. I apologize, everybody. If I've been super quiet or something. I'm, like, focusing. Hard. I don't want to see the stupid barrier. Wish I had some different options. Ah. Maybe. He comes the devil. Some different options for the bigger rocks. What I was about to say. Before I was so rudely provided with the thing I was just asking for. Dark spoopy cave hole looking good. These bears are going to be living the life. They definitely will be. The lights will still shine through the rocks. That's good. That is a dark old spoopy cave hole. Yep. Animal is severely dehydrated. You're in the water! whole year has passed while we've been doing this. Oh my god. Does this not have water? That's got water in it. 
Use this last month, zero. Well, what? Put water in the water trough, you dickheads. I swear, they're trying to murder me. Water bowl large. Will a hippo eat out of this? No. Hip hop anonymous. Get out of that one though. What's going on here? Oh, of course. Pathing's glitch. We're gonna do something real quick to. We're just gonna save, exit, and then come back in. It should fix that pathing stuff. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers! Amanda's Adventures, thank you so much for the super chat. I do greatly appreciate it. You're a scholar and a gentlewoman. Thank you so much. Here goes nine grand. At least we have almost 200,000 now. Oh, hundred dollars. They spotted a protester. Um, I am gonna do one thing. Somebody brought up a good point, although I did mess with this before. Getting like staffing path only here. It didn't seem to do anything. I don't think it will actually let you do that. It does not let you do that. That's why I couldn't do it before. Control Z. We're just going to get fired. How's that sound? Everybody else can get through the door but you. Barrier status is meh. Alright, the baby has been moved, so that's good. Call the vet to give it some water. We got to put the other one out soon, too. I hate that we still have, like, one reported being injured when it's, like, in a... in a thing. So, let's go ahead and start... Eh, not yet. I also just sold a bunch of camping gear and he doesn't work at the store. Well played! <laughs> That's perfect. Let's do... a. Oh, sh Jesus Christ, that's a big bright light. Area light. So we'll try and put one here. We'll put one here. I want to just put one maybe up on top of the rocks and shine it down. That might look good. It, right? I don't think it works up there, does it? it does. It's not very bright. You can't even tell that there's lights down here. Huh. Decorative lights tube? Yeah, different types of path lights, which is good. How do these work? You definitely can't tell that they're even lighting anything. That's lit up there. Oh, Jesus. <clears throat> I 
Maybe if we do that, it'll shine brighten up the rocks. I don't know. I'm learning. Well, this looks actually really good down here. This does, however, need to be rock. Then we got to put some beds down there. And this needs to be soil heavy. Then we'll do soil light. Also do some, some rock through here. And paint this in a little bit. We're going to put some rocks down here. kind of like cover this in a little bit so it looks like it's a little pond maybe that might look good Put trees around it and stuff too. Some reeds and stuff. Leave some spot for the reeds. I don't know. Terrible. It looks terrible. Better. <laughs> Bam, rock. You get a rock, you get a rock. Everybody in the club getting rocks. Everybody at the club getting rocked. I'll build like slightly different rock formations. And then we'll get trees and stuff to put around it. Nice little groupings of stuff. Thinks that to look good. And once we put trees around it, it'll look even better, especially with like some plants too. I want to put some rocks in the water too, I think. This bad boy. Indeed. Much better. I'm gonna try something different for making this face. Just randomly place some different rocks. That way it looks maybe possibly more natural. Fill it in with these big boys. I don't know why occasionally it does that, where I have to, like, exit out of it. I do that. Oh, I didn't do it that time. Boop -a -doop -a -doop -boop -boop -boop. Finally got our music back. <laughs> I don't know what causes it to stop. But I, I do quite enjoy the music in this game. Eh. It goes in the hole or it gets the hose again. Yeah! He doesn't listen to me. I'm not his daddy. He's our. Oh god. Oh god, what did I. What did I start reading chat into?
A scale of 1 to 10, what would you currently rate our cave action at? That's what we need to know. Down, but down. A little too bleh. We're gonna have to adjust all that rock stuff here in a little bit. Probably not gonna focus too much on it in the stream. I can always come back and adjust a lot of this stuff. I want to get it at least, you know, presentable, and then we can really get in there and dig deep into the... Making it look pretty. If I do a little bit of an overhang. The Simba Rock. And just rotated it so we got some different options for looks now. Looking mighty fine. Very dark in here, though. <laughs> So much rock. Much rock. True. Much, much rock. I'm gonna put toys down there too. That way we can entice them into coming down here. I think they like... I think it's this one that they like. Oh shit. Oh god. What happened? They were set to flatten surface. Stop it! No bueno. I had this exactly how I wanted it, game. Maybe not quite exactly how I wanted it, but close enough. I do want to make sure that the bears actually hang out in the thing that we've made for them. You know what'll help? Oh, never mind. <laughs> you know what'll help? Nothing! Absolutely nothing! I think the bears should be okay in there. One thing we do need, however. Rocks down. Not a lot. Just enough to make it not look like hammered booty. Wondering, yes, this is my favorite tiger rock. <laughs> it just fits everywhere. Okay, that's a little bit better. Fortunately, we messed up this stuff out here. I don't want to add too many rocks, but I do need to like rock in all of this. Is that tree freaking floating? It is. How 
dare you do this to me? closer ladies and gentlemen the bears will be free soon when they are free question is will they be happy I'm gonna leave the rest of that like that for now Might just put a tree there just to block it a little bit and then all we got is just to fill in these these gaps here Should not be as that difficult. Did the stream die? 